A five-year-old child found unresponsive and unable to move. The tragic 911 call on Long Island that came in a year, a year ago, has been deemed a murder. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports the boy's own mother and her boyfriend are the suspects. Inside this apartment, Heritage Gardens on Leroy Avenue in Brentwood, the unthinkable occurred. This poor kid suffered. Um, this was this was a terrible, terrible case. Um, this, this was uh, a shocking case of abuse. April of last year, five-year-old King Awusu died in Suffolk County. The medical examiner found blunt force trauma throughout his body. Now, a year later, his mother, Valerie Awusu, and her boyfriend, Emmanuel Adaye, arrested and charged with murder second degree. They are held without bail. We hold people that commit evil acts and bring them to justice. A younger sibling not harmed is in custody of Child Protective Services. The suspects were arrested at Suffolk Family Court where they were called for a hearing. The couple's been on the move. They just visited the Republic of Ghana, moved to Orange, New Jersey from Lafrac City, Queens. The abuse discovered at the Brentwood apartment of Emmanuel Adai's parents where the 911 call was made. An ambulance brought the boy, King Awusu, from Brentwood here to South Shore University Hospital, but inter injuries were so grave doctors were unable to save the life of the child he was beaten and it, it just breaks my heart last year that this time uh, COVID was rampant so the ambulance coming up and down was a norm I remember seeing a lot of cops in the area Wow, that's so sad. There's a lot of kids around, you know, and the people seem nice that live here, so it's very, you know, shocking. Anxious residents were told Awusu works in a consignment shop. Her boyfriend, Adai, is a driver for hire. Their arrest delayed, proving the abuse took place here and not in Ghana. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News. Well, Valerie Owusu and Emmanuel Adaye pleaded not guilty. They have no prior arrests. They have separate attorneys and both deny ever beating the child.